हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द नेटवर्क थ्योरम दैट इज रेसिप्रोसिटी थ्योरम लेट्स एन अकॉर्डिंग टू रेसिप्रोसिटी थ्योरम इफ सम इनपुट इज सप्लाई टू ए सर्किट दैट सर्किट कंटेनिंग रेजिस्टर्स इंडक्टर्स कैपेसिटर्स एंड ट्रांसफार्मर्स देन द रेशो ऑफ आउटपुट इन एनी एलिमेंट टू द इनपुट इज ए कंस्टेंट द रेशो ऑफ आउटपुट इन एनी एलिमेंट टू दैट ऑफ इनपुट इज कंस्टेंट इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ चेंजेस इन पोजिशन ऑफ इनपुट एंड आउटपुट आदर वी चेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ इनपुट एंड आउटपुट और नॉट but the ratio will be same here in other words we can say in any linear network if a voltage source in any branch produces a current i in any other branch then the same voltage acting in the same branch would produce the same current i in that of first branch look here how these things are done you have to prefer an electrical network the electrical network denote the input bb dash denote the output the application of emf across a a dash results the current across the output terminal b b dash here input voltage output current now if we interchange the positions of current from output to input and voltage from input to output what happened here is the electrical network electrical network a a dash b b dash current i voltage v we interchange the position of current from output to input and voltage from input to output then according to reciprocity theorem the ratio of the input to output response is in the same in both the cases here v by i is same as v by i at that particular case here reciprocity theorem means reciprocity theorem means that voltage and current are mutually transferable mutually transferable reciprocity theorem means voltage and current are mutually transferable there are some steps we have to follow to apply the reciprocity theorem the steps like first select the branches where reciprocity is to be established then using the conventional network analysis the current in the branch is computed conventional network analysis means we can use k 
फीच अफ भोल्टेज ल टू सॉल्व द नेटवर्क एंड इंटरचेंज द भोल्टेज सोर्स बिटवीन द ब्रांचेस कंस्टंट एंड कैलकुलेट द करेंट इन द ब्रांच वेर द भोल्टेज सोर्स वाज एक्सिस्ट एलियर एंड फ्रॉम दिस रेसिप्रोसिटी थ्योरम वी ऑब्जर्व द करेंट्स ऑप्टेंड इन स्टेप टू एंड स्टेप फोर टू आर आइडेंटिकल टू इच अदर so here we have to consider an electrical network as here electrical network resistance r1 resistance r2 resistance r3 and the potential is applied let the current in that part be i1 and current through that part at i2 here the current again change that potential change that potential so the electrical network r1 r2 r3 here the potential source is given v current let i2 dash here let sorry let i1 dash here let i2 dash according to the reciprocity way here i2 is equal to i2 dash i2 is equal to i2 dash by using the statement of reciprocity theorem as the ratio of output in any element to the input is constant so here i2 here i1 dash equal by using reciprocity theorem that can be proved by using kvl hitchhoff's voltage law is applied to that corresponding networks and finally we observe i2 is equal to i2 dash here some important points is to be remember where we have to apply that uh, reciprocity theorem the reciprocity theorem is applicable to linear time invariant bilateral passive elements bilateral passive elements network and also reciprocity theorem valid reciprocity theorem is valid for the network containing a single current source and some limitations of reciprocity theorem that uh, it is not applicable to multi source networks and it is not applicable to the networks consisting of time varying elements 
तो इलेक्ट्रिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट हुई चाहे हुई सिंस टाइम भरेंग दिस इलेक्ट्रिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इफ प्रेजेंट इन दैट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट देन वी कैन टू अप्लाई द रेसिप्रोसिटी थ्योरम एंड आल्सो इट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल टू द सर्किट्स हैविंग बोथ डिफेंडेंट एंड इंडिफेंडेंट सोर्सेस सो दिस आर सम लिमिटेशंस ऑफ रेसिप्रोसिटी थ्योरम सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज रेसिप्रोसिटी थ्योरम इट्स स्टेटमेंट डिफरेंट वे दैट स्टेटमेंट इज रिटेन and steps to apply reciprocity theorem what exactly happened in case of reciprocity theorem that can be proved by using kvl to these circuits these are some important points that the reciprocity theorem obey or we can say reciprocity theorem is applicable so with this useful and information notes let me wind up this session Thank you